House Republicans have officially ousted Democratic Congresswoman Elon Omar of Minnesota from the House Foreign Affairs Committee. They say in response to a number of her controversial and overtly anti-Semitic statements over the years. Now, while I happen to think Elon Omar is awful and has said some abhorrent things, I also said last night when I talked to the lead GOP sponsor of the effort to give her the boot, Representative Max Miller, that I thought kicking her off based on views you disagree with was a dangerous road to go down and, in my view, a mistake. After the vote, not surprisingly, Omar's Democratic ally and fellow squad member, Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, blasted Republicans. Don't tell me that this is about an abdic a, a condemnation of anti-Semitic remarks when you have a member of the Republican caucus who, have who has talked about Jewish space lasers and an, an entire amount of tropes and also elevated her to some of the highest committee assignments in this body. Don't tell me because I didn't get a single apology when my life was threatened. Thank you. Well, putting aside the theatrics on that point, she, on that she has a point. You have no right to claim the higher ground after you elevate Marjorie Taylor Greene to the Committee on Oversight and Accountability and the Committee on Homeland Security, when she's also guilty of, among other things, anti-Semitic comments and tropes. But rather than just sticking to a state hip straight hypocrisy argument, AOC, being AOC, went further and inevitably claimed it was racism. As a fellow New Yorker, I think one of the things that we should talk about here is also one of the disgusting legacies after 9-11 has been the targeting and racism against Muslim Americans throughout the United States of America. And this is an extension of that legacy. Consistency, there is nothing consistent with the Republican Party's continued attack except for the racism and incitement of violence against women of color in this body. Come on, no need to play the race card. And no evidence to suggest that's true. What, over 200 Republicans all voted for this because it's race, because they're racist? They also booted white men, Adam Schiff and Eric Swalwell, from the House Intelligence Committee. And look, Omar has made horrible comments when she suggested that Jewish people and the American Israel Public Affairs Committee were buying political support, saying it's all about the Benjamins' baby. She also called Israel an apartheid state, grouped Israel and U.S. and with Hamas and the Taliban, we must have the same level of accountability and justice for all victims of crimes against humanity. We've seen unthinkable atrocities committed by the U.S., Hamas, Israel, Afghanistan, and the Taliban. So in the end, it was clearly tit for tat with Republicans. So that I think they're right about. But why go down the racial rabbit hole? Joining us now is our friend Amisha Cross, former communications staffer in the Obama White House and a political analyst for Sirius XM. Thanks very much for coming on the program. Appreciate it. So you think this was really racially motivated? Absolutely. And I say that um, very, very strategically here because we're talking about um, we're talking about a congresswoman who wears a hijab, a congresswoman who is a very proud Muslim, um, a congresswoman who has seen the drawings of her, the conversations about her um, being a part of Al Qaeda, um, parading around and being excited after 9-11 happened. These were things that were said by former President Trump at his rallies as it related to Ilhan Omar. Um, we've seen a lot of the conversation and the comments from not only Marjorie Taylor Greene, but also Lauren Burbert that are attacking Muslims. Um, this is not something that was said just because AOC wanted to say something about race or bring it in the conversation. It was said because Republicans, Republicans in that very body have said things that are highly offensive, Islamophobia, things that are anti-immigrant. Um, anti and we know the but, background of Ilhan Omar and how she got to the United States um, as, as a refugee. This is something that she has been attacked for in terms of her biography multiple times but, but over by the same Republicans but, but, who voted to kick right, her off the committee today. Let's assume that there are a handful of Republicans who said things, right, that they shouldn't have said, et cetera. And, uh, but what about the 200 plus that all voted I mean, to suggest that that's racism, the reason she has successfully been booted is racism, to me just seems like a kind of silly, unsupported argument. Well, I didn't see a lot of those Republicans calling out their colleagues when they were saying those Islamophobic things either. Um, a handful of them did, but not all of them. And I also believe that to something that was in your opening earlier, part of this is a tit for tat. Yes, there's Islamophobia. Yes, there's anti-Muslim sentiment. Yes, there's rhetoric that has been spread, images so, that have been spread that are quite frankly scary, and many death threats that this congresswoman has gotten. But beyond that, there is also this 
Democrats removed a couple of Republicans from committees when they were in right. charge, and now so, Republicans feel it necessary to do the same thing to showcase their own strength. But, and thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find News Nation on your cable provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.